today is the feast of the transfiguration of the Lord, wherein Jesus uh, transfigured in the presence of the chosen apostles as a prefiguration and foretaste of the coming glorification and resurrection of our Lord. Today we also pray in a special way those victims and survivors of the explosion in Beirut, uh, Lebanon, and also those who are affected by the recent hurricane Isaiah. With these intentions, we offer to God as we pray the entrance and the home. In a resplendent cloud, the Holy Spirit appeared. The Father's voice was heard. This is my beloved Son, with whom I am well pleased. Listen to Him. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. 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 As we celebrate today the feast of the transfiguration of the Lord, let us offer to God all our prayers, as well as our intentions, our own sinfulness and woundedness, and we humbly ask for pardon and strength. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord of mercy. Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ of mercy. Christ. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord of mercy. Lord have mercy. May the Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you are Lord and the Holy One, you are Lord and the Lord. You are Lord and the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Let us pray. O God, who in the glorious transfiguration of your only begotten Son, confirmed the mysteries of faith by the witness of the fathers, and wonderfully prefigured our full adoption to sonship, grant we pray to your servants that listening to the voice of your beloved Son, we may merit to become co-heirs with him, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Daniel. As I watched, thrones were set up, and the Ancient One took his throne. His clothing was bright as snow, and the hair on his head as white as wool. His throne was flames of fire, with wheels of burning fire. A surging stream of fire flowed out from where he sat. Thousands upon thousands were ministering to him, and myriads upon myriads attended him. The court was convened, and the books were opened. As the vision during the night continued, I saw one like the Son of Man coming on the clouds of heaven when he reached the Ancient One and was presented to him like the, the one like the Son of Man received dominion, glory, and kingship. All peoples, nations, and languages serve him. His dominion is an everlasting dominion that shall not be taken away. The kingship shall not 
be destroyed. The word of the Lord. I tell you, our response to the song, the Lord is King, the Most High over all the earth. The Lord is King, the Most High over all the earth. The Lord is King, let the earth rejoice, let the many islands be glad. Clouds and darkness are around about him. Justice and judgment are the foundation of his throne. The Lord is the most high over all the earth. The mountains melt like wax before the Lord, before the Lord of all the earth. The heavens proclaim his justice, and all peoples see his glory. The Lord is the most high over all the earth. Because of you, O Lord, because you, O Lord, are the most high over all the earth, exalted far above all gods. The Lord is king, the most high over all the earth. A reading from the second letter of St. Peter. Beloved, we did not follow clearly by cleverly devised events when we made known to you the power and coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. But we had been eyewitnesses of this majesty. For he received honor and glory from God the Father when that unique declaration came to him from, from the majestic glory. This is my son, my beloved, with whom I am well pleased. We ourselves heard this voice come from heaven while we were with him on the holy mountain. Moreover, we possess this prophetic message that is rolled together reliable. You will do well to be attentive to it, as to a lamp shining in a dark place, until the dark dawn of the day dawns, and the morning star rises in your hearts. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. become 
dazzling as night and as white. So this transfiguration of our Lord Jesus Christ in the presence of the chosen apostles, in the presence of Peter, James, and his brother John. It, this transfiguration event plays a significant role in the life of the apostles and even an important revelation of the identity and mission of Jesus Christ. Because prior to this event, Jesus revealed, revealed to his chosen apostles about his coming death, about his coming uh, Calvary, his coming uh, crucifixion, and, and also uh, death on the cross. And of course, the apostles were so saddened that uh, they could not accept that this thing could happen to their master and Lord. So this transfiguration event is very important because this reveals that Jesus Christ would not just end dying on the cross. But Jesus is trying to reveal this reality that there is a coming glorification and resurrection. And that's why it's very important to the apostles, the chosen apostles, to witness this event and also to have a foretaste of the coming uh, identity and mission of our Lord Jesus Christ, that He was really the one sent as a Messiah and, and Savior. And also this event is a fulfillment of the law and the realization of the promise to the prophets. As being shown in the Transfiguration event, the images of Moses and Elijah. Moses represents the image of the law, the tablets of the commandments. And Elijah represents the, the great prophet. So in other words, Jesus Christ is truly the fulfillment and the realization of the Old Testament and the promises of the prophets. So that transfiguration event reveals the divine nature of our Lord Jesus Christ. It is a glimpse of Christ's divine majesty and even affirms his divine sonship. As the voice in the cloud said, This is my beloved Son, with whom I am well pleased. Listen to him. So this transfiguration event reveals the divine mystery of our Lord Jesus Christ. In other words, it is also the highlight and the significant mountaintop experience of the chosen apostles. Because the image of the mountain is a biblical uh, example of the presence of God. You can find uh, many instances, especially of the Old Testament, that God appeared to them or revealed himself in the mountain. Remember that the tablets of the commandments were given to Moses in the mountain. Also appeared, God appeared to prophet Elijah. So, in many occasions in the Bible, God himself revealed to the people and to the chosen messengers mostly in the mountain because mountains are a reminder to us of God's presence. So as to have a, deep, a deeper look at the significant event of Christ's transfiguration, it is truly a mountaintop experience in his chosen apostles. And at the same time, this is also a great revelation to the chosen apostles. That's why Peter also said that, Lord, it's good to be here. If you wish, I will put one time for you, one time for Moses, and one time for Elijah. In other words, he was so consoled that he wanted to stay there because of that experience and the tremendous experience of the 
presence of God. But Jesus did not entertain this uh, suggestion of Peter because Jesus knew himself that his mission is to go to Jerusalem to die and be crucified and after three days to fulfill the promise that he would rise again and also reveal his glorification. So my dear friends in Christ, most of the time when we encounter either consolation or desolation in our life, there are two ways that we always respond, especially to face the suffering or conflicts in our life. One is avoidance or acceptance. The other one is withdrawing or confronting. So my dear friends, it is in this event of the transfiguration of our Lord that will give us also consolation that in our life it is not only crucifixion, trials, and tribulations that we experience. We also experience the glorification and at the same time this coming experience of the resurrection of our Lord. So we need the experience of transfiguration with Christ to prepare us and embrace Christ's passion and death and to have hope also to His glorification and resurrection. Because in these times we always need the light of Christ and this phase of transfiguration gives us assurance that the Lord gives us light and guidance in the time we need it most. Amen. In the transfiguration, the Father revealed the glory of His Son. We do not see His glory now, but as we await for the kingdom, we pray in His name to the Father. As we offer all our prayers and petitions, our response be, Lord, hear our prayer. For all members of the church, may the voice of Christ be our guide and lead us to further unity and healing. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For elected officials, may God help them grow in the, vir in the virtue of charity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are sick, may the healing consolation of Christ touch them and comfort them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who offer the gift of their time to this faith community, may God bless their efforts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died, may they enjoy eternal life in heaven and behold the face of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Brian Baines, who is living, for whom this Mass is offered, and for all the prayers and intentions that we hold in the silence of our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. The Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. Like Peter, we marvel God's presence and glorification. Receive the prayers of this community assembled to hear your words and to offer the sacrifice of your Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness you have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and break of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share the with the best humble himself to share in every man. Blessed 
Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, for through your goodness you have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and word of human hands to become our spring from bread. Blessed are you, God, forever. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may be accepted by you, O Lord, your sacrifice on your side this day. Be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash for the Lord from my iniquity and cleanse me from all my sins. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise of your glory and name, for our good and good to all the children. Sanctify, O Lord, we pray, these offerings you are made to celebrate, the glorious transfiguration of your only begotten Son. And by his radiant splendor, cleanse us from the stains of sin. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift up the Lord. The Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right and just. it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father. Almighty and eternal God, through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. For he revealed his glory in the presence of chosen witnesses and filled with the greatest splendor and bodily form which he shares with all humanity, that the scandal of the cross might be removed from the hearts of his disciples and that he might show how in the body of the whole church is to be fulfilled what the wonderfully shown forth in its head. So with all the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth and before your majesty without end, we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. O Son of Christ, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. O Son. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and the working of the Holy Spirit, you give light to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread. And giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of God.
the mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death to the Lord until you come again. Therefore, O oh Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence, we rely on your unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis our Pope and William our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and then that people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, and merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world, to our departed brothers and sisters, and to our missing to you at their passing from this life. Give God and bring us to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and power is Yours, forever and ever. At the Saviors to men, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be Thy name, Thy kingdom come, Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may always free from sin. And save from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not at our sins, but at the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your faith, who live and reign forever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Peace be spirit. Let us offer to each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you all. Peace be with you to all those viewing online. The sweetling of the body of the Lord Jesus Christ bring to heaven for us to receive. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy. Lamb of God, take away the sin of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life.
the act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you are already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. When Christ appears, we shall be like him, or we shall see him as he is. Let us pray. May the heavenly nourishment we have received, O Lord, we pray. Transform us into the likeness of your Son, whose radiant splendor you will to make manifest in his glorious transfiguration who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. May you have a blessed day. You too, Father. The Lord be with you. Amen. May the Almighty and loving God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth in peace. The Mass is ended. Amen. Amen. Amen.